Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. To replace the left or right induction control module in this Frigidaire induction range, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a T20 Torx bit, and needle nose pliers. Before you begin the procedure, unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Open the oven door and use the Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the three screws, securing the main top. With the screws unthreaded, pull the main top forward to fully remove. You'll need to fully remove the front and rear induction coils covering the module you're replacing. Note the hole locations where the front induction coil retaining clips are inserted into. Detach the coil and move it out of the way. Note the orientation of the wires, then use the T20 Torx bit to loosen the screws to release the induction coil power wires. Disconnect the sensor wire from the control module and you can fully remove the coil. Repeat this procedure to remove the rear induction coil. Now note the location of the module power wires, then use needle nose pliers to disconnect them. Next, disconnect the two ferrite coil wires. Release the communication wire from the retaining clips on the module. Then disconnect the communication wire connectors from the module. Now use the needle nose pliers to straighten the two retaining tabs, securing the module base. And you can fully remove the old module. To install the new induction control module, align it on the support. Then bend the retaining tabs to help secure. Connect the communication wire connectors to the module and secure the wires in the retaining clips. Connect the two ferrite coil wires to the module wire and grounding terminal, respectively. Connect the module power wires to the appropriate terminals. Reinstall the rear induction coil by first connecting the sensor wire to the control module. Slide the power wires under the appropriate screws, then tighten the screws to secure the wires. Align the retaining clips with the appropriate holes in the brackets and snap the coil assembly into position. 
Repeat to reinstall the front induction coil. Reinstall the main top by aligning the sides under the front support bracket. Then carefully slide the top back, pressing the induction coils down as you do this. With the top in place, thread the three screws in front to fully secure it. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and the induction range should be ready for use.